welcome to my channel my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today we are unboxing my Beautylish lucky bag I feel like I've been waiting for this for so long um, but I know that's just because I've been checking the tracking like five times a day waiting for it to come so it was sent out on the 24th and it has just arrived to me now today uh, which really isn't too bad but it felt like a long time really did it felt like an absolutely long time and anyway i'm so sorry if i'm super scattered brained in this video i've not had much sleep i was on night shift last night and then the postman woke me up and i needed to be opening these things i tried to go back to sleep but i just couldn't and <gasps> yes the newest lucky bags so this is my second lucky bag that i've got um they always do just absolutely amazing job with packaging and this is something that they release on Boxing Day, which is the 27th for me. And I, I personally, I wake up at 3 a.m. to order these because they sell out that quickly. And you essentially get like a whole heap of luxury items in one hit. So it's inspired by the Japanese custom. Oh, we are wrapped up. I can't, I can't see what anything is. Where do we start? Alright. I'm like, how do I do with this? Um, I'm so excited. I'm like... I feel like a child. I absolutely do. Because... Wow. What do we get? Oh, is this the good molecules thing? So I couldn't resist and I have had a look of what people have been getting. So the Good Molecules Wake Up Eye Serum is not yet released on Beautylish. It's a new brand coming to them. You can sign up for notifications of when it is. It is, people are selling it on Poshmark already. And that's the only place I could find this brand on for Google. But let's just have a look at this serum. So I'm unsure on the price. But it looks quite fun. And it just feels like a nice, really light moisture. Alright, something heavy. Sorry, I have that. Lumalaya Primer Fresh. This primer gently hugs and hydrates the skin with deep moisturizer and volumizing light, brightening the skin with clear watery radiant radiance that looks quite fancy i've never heard of this brand i've never tried it keen to try a nice pump Ooh, it feels nice and cooling already really spreads quite a long way it's just a very smooth, slightly tacky base. <gasps> a Wayne Girls brush, which I, I love his brushes. Mm, they're so soft and nice. I'm super excited to add this to my collection. The Wayne Goss number 17 brush is 28 US dollars and it is the eyeshadow crease brush. And you can see there, it's just nice packing size and this is very good for the crease I love his brushes they are beautiful to use and what oh my god I just I just saw this label can you see it can you see what the fuck am I I've got Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> I'm Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Tilbury oh my god I didn't I didn't know anyone's gotten this I don't know, like I think Charlotte Tilbury, she's just one of these brands I I never I never dreamt I'd ever get close to owning. Look. This is the Dolce Vita. I haven't seen this on any of the posts. I mean it's it's a basic palette. Oh I've got a Charlotte Tilbury palette. I never I never in my life I'd never buy this. And this this is absolutely why I love these boxes. Also, I'm easily in bed. Charlotte Tilbury. 
the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita. The shows were really nice. I'm super keen to try these. I didn't know anyone was getting that. I was expecting Natasha Denona or Viziant. Alright, we've got Jouet High Pigment Lip Gloss. I do like, um, I'm entertained by the Jouet packaging. The square form, that's quite fun. The Jouet High Pigment Gloss in Sunset. I don't know how they call that gloss. I guess maybe it never dries. And I do have their lip topper. They're a bit, it's a bit grainy. I got that last year, I remember. All right. What could this one be? I don't even know. I've got two. Kevin O'Conn! I'm so excited. I'm like so excited. I've been like Kevin O'Conn obsessed lately. I just watched his documentary and then I have read his book. And I got candlelight. I got I got fucking candlelight from Kevin O'Conn. I got what the fuck? Oh my god! This is the first Kevin O'Conn product I've ever had in my life. I what? It comes in a cute pouch. Oh, look! So this is meant to be. I think it's one of the highlighters, isn't it? I don't know, like, it, it just feels beautiful. Kevin O'Corn highlighter in candlelight. Now, from what I can see, Beautylish don't stock Kevin O'Corn. I'm quite a pri quite surprised. Yeah, I'm very surprised I got it. I'm super interested in trying it and to be honest I could sit here and pat that powder all day but I know this is one of the products that you hear talked about a fair bit what I was so excited I was so excited Kevin Acorn and Charlotte Tilbury like oh those are just the two brands that I would never even dream to say aloud that I want to try all right and there was more there was more um Oh, was it? No. <laughs> what a lot. <laughs> We're finished. But what a glorious box. I'm so happy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing me unbox this box. I'm super excited to play with all of the things that I've unboxed today. I cannot wait. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Um, there's more mystery bags coming on this channel, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you so desires. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, anyway, I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.